Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fallout 4. And it's a rainy day here in the Adam Katz garage. Thought I'd come over here and check to see if they might have any X01 parts finally. I've been trying to find some of those, as well as a left leg for uh, T51. I haven't been able to get any of those parts recently, so I'm going to go ahead and put my helmet back on here real quick because it's always good to have your helmet on all right make sure I look okay yeah I look beautiful anyway these guys are pretty cool I mean they they're very helpful it seems like about every time I come here they're being under attack okay this lady here is rowdy and she's the lady you need to talk to to get the parts rowdy you want to spiff up your power armor you heck yeah right place the Adam cats have the most far out mods this side of the apocalypse Let's see what she's sure. got. Let's take a look. All right, they've got. Now, see, this is something that's interesting. Their Adam Katz custom paint job. I think I'd said on an earlier episode. I found it in a magazine. You do not have to spend a dime to get this if you're just patient enough and look for that magazine. Now they have plenty of T60 things, especially Adam Katz T60s. Now what I'm looking for is either a T, there it is, T-51 left leg. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And I do not see any, ah shoot, they never have them. Seems like they never have them. They have plenty of T-60s, but not what I need. <clears throat> no X-01s at all. All right, I think I got what I needed from her. She's usually got some good stuff. Every now and then you get, you don't, they don't have what you need. But I like to come over here and check things out every now and then. I'm pretty much free to roam around, do what I want. Well, obviously I can't steal anything, but these guys are pretty okay. I wish that cafeteria was not just plastic. I always check that out. What is this? Oh, it's the poetry night. <laughs> yeah, you can find all kinds of cool stuff like that. Jangles the Moon Monkey. And you know you can take it if you want to. Now, I don't really have room for all that nonsense, but... Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to try to see if we can't finish off a few of our missions. And I think the next one we're going to take care of is... I'm going to go over here to the map... And I have been meaning to go check out this Quincy Police Station because I'm still looking for the tapes in order to complete this one mission. This one mission that I've been wanting, that uh, Nick Valentine's been begging me to do over and over and over again. And that is, of course, the Eddie Winter one. I've got zero one. Five, six, seven, eight. So I need two, one. No, I'm sorry. Two, three, four, and I'll have it completed. Now, the only good thing is I don't know where Nick is. <laughs> I had changed companions and sent him to one of my locations, and I don't remember where it is. So I have not been able to find him for a while. I keep checking places, hoping I'm finding. That's it's not good. I know. 
but I don't know what to do about it. I just hope I keep, as I keep going around, I'll run into him. Also, they also have a power core here, which I've already gotten. So when you first come here and you grab that, they don't care about that. The only thing you can't mess with is this right here. This power armor. That is strictly theirs, and you will get in big trouble. Alright, guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get to that new location. See if we can't find that Eddie Winter thing. I would eventually like to get onto the Road of Freedom because we're it's about time that we need to go ahead and move into the full campaign, and that's the next step, because we're gonna need the railroad to decode that chip we have so that we can get to the Institute. Alright, let's see what we're doing here, guys. Actually, I think I'm going to do something different. Actually, I believe I'm going to go ahead and do this mission. The Show No Mercy. I feel like riding a vertebrate gunship. That'll be fun. Yeah, let's do that. I haven't messed with the Brotherhood of Steel for a while. I can bring Cos, uh, Codsworth with me. They don't care about him. Robots are no big deal. Well, why can't I? Oh, there it goes. Okay, move. Let me remove the marker. Now I have been here. I should be able to get there. Guess I'm going to have to go to the Boston airport. I don't know what the deal is with that. Now, oh, the airport. Once a bustling hub of activity, now a glorified scrapyard. Yeah, he's always so cheerful. <laughs> hey, hey. Have you ever fired a minigun? Choose through ferals like paper. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Alright, I need to get back up to the Prid one here. So... Let's see, what's the fastest way to get there, I guess, through here? Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, sister. This is our supply depot. Unless you're here on official business, I need you to clear up. All right, guys, we are up here in the Pridwin, and we are about ready to take on this new mission. Let me see here, guys. I need to figure out where or who I need to talk to. This is under the Show No Mercy. I need to board the Verde Bird gunship, so where is that? Right here, right in front of us. Let's go, guys. This ought to be interesting. Welcome aboard, Knight. Instruments are green, and we're cleared for release. I get to operate this gun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be lots of fun. So I think what we're gonna be doing is trying to take out some of those super mutants over at the prison. If I remember correctly. But you get a nice good view of the airport here, or what's left of it. And if we see anything that looks a little bit on the dangerous side, we'll just take it out. You know, say a Mirelurk Queen or something bigger. I think there's a settlement over there that I've got been helping. Yeah. But here's the prison, guys. Target acquired. I'll try and keep them in your sights. Oh, there's a super mutant behemoth in here. There he is. It's got to be him. Good God, he is huge. Keep 
chucking rocks at us. Where'd he go? He's down. Primary target down. Look at that thing bleed. I'm gonna find a place to set her down and then hightail it back to the Fredwin for repairs. Got another one. Woo! Look at that thing get red hot. Let's see if we can't take another one down here, guys. Alright, somebody's shooting at us. He's down. Alright guys, we need to get busy here. Hell, he's down. That's a big word for a super mutant. Arrogance? He must have been checking out. Ooh, here's the big guy. Let's see what goodies he had on him. He had fusion cells, death claw meat, uh, death claw hand, a telephone? Why would he have a telephone? I guess he. I never leave a task unfinished. Be a good I'll find boy. you eventually. <laughs> I love when he gets all bent out of shape. You don't see Codsworth get bent out of shape too much. He's usually pretty cool. I yeah. can do this all day. Look! Look I at your death! I was just getting warmed up. Sure you were. <laughs> uh, don't need all these weapons. Got too many of them as it is. Oh wow, this is a graveyard. What the hell happened here? Huh. I'm not sure if we've gotten all these guys out of here or not. But that was a monster behemoth there. Uh oh, what was that? Thought I heard something. Hmm. Yeah, let's make damn sure there's nothing left in here. Alright, guys, let's see here. Anything good? It's a radio. Any freeze bottle? I don't know what I can do with that. Ah, the Commonwealth. One big mess after the next. Yeah, I know, Codsey. I know. You're a snoot. But I like you just the same. Technical document. That'll be good. Take that back and get a little bit of caps for it. It's a lot of radioactive barrels are sitting around though. Seems a little odd. See, there's like one in every one of these things. A wooden spoon. I don't think I can use that. Oh, I thought that was a safe. Maybe I was hoping it was a safe. Hey, Cod, sorry. Didn't mean to bump into you. Kind of in a hurry. Looks like I got him cleaned out. Let's see if there's anything on the pier. Just amazes me there. It's like there's a fishing rod. Um, it kind of amazes me that these guys are brutes, but they're also pretty articulate. 
You know, when that. That's interesting. What is this? Oh, I always check down in these things because sometimes it could be a tunnel leading somewhere else. You never know. Yeah, make sure you check everything, guys, because you never know what you're going to find in these places. Okay, I think I checked this, didn't I? What is this up here? Oh. U.S. Army Fort Strong. This is what we're interested in getting to. Wonder if that's where Strong got his name. Possibility. Or maybe he's just because he's strong. Ooh. Too bad these aren't operational. Cannonball. What do I could do with that? Hey, Kadzi. Come here. Hey, can I be of service? Yeah, I think I'm gonna drop some stuff off with you. I think this is a common sight these days. Huh? I'm sure yeah. some would even call this clean. I'm gonna grab these cannonballs. I have a feeling that there's something that can fire them. Just don't know what yet. There's some kind of naval gun that you can like a naval cannon gun or something that I've heard about alright let's come in here and see what's going on oh what a mess okay there's definitely Such disarray I wouldn't know where to begin if I had to clean up this mess well that would probably be because of the super mutants which seem to have be inhabiting this place and it looks like they Pick these people clean. Let's play, little humans. Where are they? Where? Out there. Somewhere. Oh, I'll smack you around like you nobody's business. Took his arm off. <laughs> That's bad. And 44 magnums take these guys down pretty well. <laughs> really? Alright, let's check these desks because there's got to be an Eddie Winter thing in here somewhere. Technical document, toothpaste. Oh no, I'm God. not done with you. Spineless not human. even in the slightest. Die, to die. Thought you could hide from me. Human such luck now suffer for your hour. That's not aluminum. Bug it off. Bug it off. God, all these interruptions, they drive me crazy. I just found something that looked important. Alright. Somebody needs to talk Where to Strong go? about his people. They're kind of gonna messed up. You. Gonna kill you. Apparently gonna eat me, too. I swear to God, they just kind of eat anything that they find. I mean, it's... What is that? Well, it looked like something important. I don't know what to do with the handcuffs, but I see them everywhere because this is apparently some kind of a police station. Uh, well, it's Fort Strong, but it's still in shortening. Mama's little baby's got shortening. Short. Okay. Dinner forks. Empty milk bottles, a hacksaw. I think there's actually moldy food in here. I don't think I've ever seen them in there. Alright, this looks like an official looking place. 
think this is one of if this isn't the place I'm looking for, it's gotta be darn close. Yep, Fort Strong Key, Fusion Cell. Looks like some goodies in here. Mm, don't really need that. Let's see. Uh, we'll take his whiskey. <laughs> Looks like we've got weapons and shotgun shells. I was kind of expecting a little more than that, though, to be honest. Ooh, mini nuke. We'll take that. All right. And a U.S. covert operations Hell manual. Yeah. Permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. I'll take that. Cool beans. Hey, Kodzi. You missed it. Alright, let's see if there's anything else in here. Pack of cigarettes. Yeah, I think I've checked everywhere except. Believe how this place sets off my cleaning senses. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, there's more stuff in there. Alright, let's try to find that. Elevator, because I know there was one around here somewhere. Here it is. Let's see where that takes me. I think it goes down. It's amazing how they just kind of appear, even though they weren't in here. Your companions. Alright, Cuds, you're in a way. <laughs> Cods, need you to move. Thank you. All right, let's see. So sit, pocket watch. Looks like some old toilet paper, maybe. I don't know. I think this is a common sight these days. I'm sure some would even call this clean. Yeah. Actually, they would. At this point, I've seen a lot worse out in this place. Ooh, a death claw hand. Another death claw hand. Not sure what I could do with it, but it's there. There's some more moldy food. Not sure what I can do with it, but I don't even want to know what happened here. 308 rounds. Tin can. See me. Uh oh. I am super mutant standing before you. So I am super mutant too. There are none like me. None. I am better. You? No, brother. Having we a problem letting go. Yeah, I need I you to come here and help carry some stuff. Where are you? you are. Yeah, who knows? Maybe you're right, brother. Maybe you're right. There he is. All right, let's see. If... Something you need. My Yes, I need you to carry some stuff for me, you pain in the butt. <laughs> He's so judgmental. Alright. Now I'm a little less cumbered, encumbered. Now I gotta deal with these damn creepolas. There is something over there that is of interest. Let me see here. What's that? That sound. What's all this then? Mutant hound. It's He's down. I do believe something. All right. Let's see here, guys. That's called taking you out in one shot. That hurt a bit. Oh, he's legendary. He's a little bit tougher than your average super mutant, so we're gonna get out our good old trusty shotgun. And 
That's the end of him. Assassin's Death Claw Gauntlet. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. I want that. <sighs> Missile launcher. Ooh, steel. Aluminum trays. I'm gonna need that because my legs damaged. Do it! Scream! Scream for mercy! Where are you? How are you able to shoot through the damn? Fine then. Bastard. <laughs> Shouldn't have been able to do that. Creep. He's creepy, Carla. Carla, typewriter. Mom, do be careful. I wouldn't want either of us to encounter what may have caused this mess. Looks like I'm getting plenty of bullets, so that's a good thing. I guess I've checked oh, everywhere. By the dust. Bathroom. Haven't checked in here. Purified water. In the toilet. What am I hearing? Oh, it must just be me. No, there's somebody else walking in here. Oh, shit! <laughs> Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Where the hell did he come from? Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. I kind of get it. How could synths bring about our destruction? If the synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind, so we'd become expendable. And with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them, not even the Brotherhood. It's a nightmare scenario almost too terrible to contemplate. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. I think you should stay on point. Your instincts seem to be right on target. Two hundred years ago, I never would have thought this level of dust possible. Well, that was certainly abrupt. <laughs> Where'd he go? Let's see, he was talking to me, and then he walked out here and disappeared. <laughs> okay. Look, Kodzi, I think it's time we head out of here. We've looted this place for all it's worth, and I guess that's all we need to get here. Well, guys, I tell you what, I'm back outside. I don't see any more of the Brotherhood of Steel. I don't know if there's anything more we're supposed to do with them or not. Everything looks pretty dead. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're pretty much done, guys. Well, I tell you what, I think it's went through a great deal of trouble to fortify this place. All right, yeah, I no you you're you're so good at mentioning the obvious. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like and subscribe and we will be back with another episode of Fallout 4. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.